Guys, this is an iPhone 11, but it doesn't matter because it works the same way on any iPhone. I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot without using the buttons, because it's very simple with the buttons, the power and the volume up button, the screenshot is going to be taken like that, but without the buttons, it is still possible. And there are three methods to go about it. The first one is using Siri. So you can hold down on the button, which you can, of course, use it, but you can also just activate Siri using your voice. So it doesn't matter how you get the Siri, take a screenshot and Siri is about to take a screenshot and you don't really have to press any button or anything like that. It's a very simple and most straightforward way to go about it. The second one is using a shortcut. As you know, this app, the iOS shortcuts is available and has been available for quite some time and it allows you to create some automations. So. You can see here are all of your shortcuts. Click on the shortcuts at the bottom and click on the plus icon at the top to create a new one. And the action we want to create is pretty much just search for screen shot and you can see take a screenshot. And this is pretty much all the action that we want to. Now, if we click on this shortcut, the screenshot is going to be taken. So you're going to go like this and using this shortcut, it just takes a screenshot. But it doesn't always have to be in the app. You can add it to the home screen. So hold down on it, share and add to home screen. So you can add it like this. This is the icon. You can change the icon or change the title as well. But I'm going to click on add. And right now, if I come back to the home screen, I have one button which looks like an app. And if I tap on it, it just takes a screenshot. It's very simple and it works really well. But it only takes a screenshot of wherever you are. So uh, yeah, I don't think it's that useful, to be honest. And the last or third option, which I think is the most useful, is using the assistive touch. It's like a virtual button, but I'm going to show you the way how I would want to do it. So as you can see, go to the settings of your iPhone and then navigate to the accessibility. Accessibility right here, click on a touch and assistive touch is right there. For me, it is turned off. So you're gonna have to enable it and here this button pops up. This is the virtual flying floating home button or whatever you decided to do. So it depends if you want only one thing to be part of the control center because if I click it, it just gives me the entire menu of things. So I can even go through the stuff. So this is like the default option. You have access to multiple different things. However, you can change it the single tap from the open menu to simply screenshot. So you're going to go like this. And now whenever I just click this button, it just takes a screenshot for me. And no matter what I do, where I am, the button is always in here. So it really literally doesn't matter which, which app I open up, I can just tap it and it just takes a screenshot. So it's very useful. And although it takes a bit of your space and it's kind of like uh, annoying on the screen, after some time, it just goes to the idle opacity. It means you don't do anything with it. So it's not always visible to you and uh, it doesn't stand in the way or bother you that much. However, if you want to change it, you can also go to the settings and in the same section, you can change the idle opacity. I have it on 40%, but the lowest option you can go to is 15%. And now you can barely see it, but it is still there you can still tap it to take a screenshot so these are all the methods how you can take a screenshot without pressing any buttons on your iphone so hope the video helped you out for more content and tutorials make sure to subscribe to fox tech uh, channel and check out the next video right here thanks a lot for watching see you guys later